Another question is in a competitive market for dry cleaning, the inverse market demand function is being given as P is equal to 100 minus Q. Okay, if we can draw it also here graphically, we have quantity here, price is here. Our inverse market demand function is being given like this. Okay, this is our inverse market demand function. We also call it marginal benefit curve. Okay, where P denotes the price and Q denotes the quantity. The private marginal cost of production for all dry cleaning firms together is given by we have this total marginal cost of the firms so this is our marginal cost so let's denote it here we have 20 as the intercept this is our marginal private cost okay also we are being told the market pollution generated by the dry cleaning process of all firms creates external damage given by the marginal external curve that is mec is equal to 2q that means uh, in the process of um, dry cleaning we also damage the environment and marginal external cost is being given as 2q okay we have to find out the socially efficient output of dry cleaning okay how much we will produce uh, at a socially efficient point okay so what we are being in here we have price is equal to 100 minus q this is our marginal benefit curve also let us write it here marginal benefit curve okay our marginal private cost let me write it here marginal cost is equal to marginal private cost is being given as 20 plus 2q this is our marginal private cost and marginal external cost is being given as 2q okay now to find the socially optimal level of uh, output what we need to do we need to find out the marginal social cost okay what is marginal social cost simply when we add up the marginal private cost and marginal external cost we get the marginal social cost mpc is uh, 20 plus 2q and our marginal external cost is 2q which means we have 20 plus 2q plus 2q is 4q so this is our marginal social cost okay now at socially output level so socially uh, socially efficient efficient output occurs where our marginal benefit curve intersect the marginal social cost curve okay this is our marginal private cost curve what will be our marginal social cost curve same 20 but 4q will be our slope here so let us say let me write it let us say this is our marginal social cost curve okay how do we find this when we add up the marginal private cost and the marginal external cost we get the marginal social cost point okay so this point will denote our socially efficient point okay this is our socially efficient point and this is our market efficient point okay so when marginal benefit curve intersects the marginal social cost curve we get the socially efficient output point okay so what is our marginal benefit curve that is 100 minus q should be equal to marginal social cost curve which is 20 plus 4q okay uh, if we transpose this here we have 20 if I transpose this minus Q, it will become plus uh, Q here, okay, which means 80 is equal to 5Q, which implies Q is equal to 80 upon 5, which is equal to 16. That means at socially efficient output, we will be producing 16 units of output, okay. So this point denotes our uh, socially efficient point, and this point is our market equilibrium point or perfectly competitive point okay so the question was asking us to find the socially efficient output of dry cleaning is so we will produce 16 units at the socially efficient output that means we have 16 in the blanks here